Good morning guys, welcome to my little five piece vlog for October here. It is Wednesday, October the 2nd. It's 20 to 8 in the morning, so I've waited until it's got light. I've been up for, hmm, I got up at 10 past six because I'm on early's for the rest of the week. So there's no point in me lying in bed because tomorrow morning I'll be getting up very early and we'll do the, we'll do it like Flossmas where I do my little pick in the morning <laughs> before I go on my early. So, uh, yeah, which I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to doing this. So how did we do yesterday? Really well. Um, I pulled my first choice was the B, which is great because it was already on my list of things to do. Just taking it out of its Q-snap. And on looking on Pattern Keeper, the Dragonfly, which I said I'd finish off first, was already at 50%. I had got it to 50. So the dragonfly didn't need any extra stitching on it, which was lovely. So I immediately cracked on with the B and I put in, I have actually got a notebook for October here. There's hundreds and thousands, I mean, I exaggerate dreadfully. Since I've been sorting out the storage unit, I've probably found 30 notebooks that just need two pages pulled out of them because I wrote in them, you know, 14 years ago. So I have a notebook for October. I am rubbish at keeping track, absolute rubbish. Um, 2022, I kept, was it 22? I think it was 2022. I did keep track until about May. No, it was 23. Last year? Might have been last year. See, I can't even remember which year it was. Anyway. Um, 22 because I've been I've been at my new job for year yesterday wow that went fast so I'm going to keep track of this so yesterday oh we're playing long story short I put in 549 stitches into the B which has taken it to 50.57 I, I took it over just because I was finishing my thread last night when I got in from work um, I was about 30 stitches short last night um, on my break at work and I ran out of thread because I thought that thread would do it. <laughs> it didn't. So I put one more thread into it last night. 549 stitches into the B. It's now at 50.57. And basically, as you can see, all I did was finish off the colour that was that was a trailing thread, which was in his bottom here. It was the brown. And I've stitched the blue of his wings. So that's 549 stitches there in his wings. So there we go. Coming along really well. But now both of those are there at 50%. So that's three of them. That's three of the six at 50% now. So that's jolly good. Tick. And then I put in 55 stitches. I just finished off my thread again into the little, into the little Halloween cat. So he's got a couple more stripes there on his tummy. I'm calling him cat boy because that appears to be it's got a big long it's got a big long name on the pdf but the first three the, the first digits are cat and boi so i'm calling him cat boy so there we go so he's had a little tiny bit so there's 55 stitches there so 600 stitches yesterday which was not bad at all um so he can go back in the pile and this morning since I got up, I have put in not quite 300 stitches into my treasure hunt bookshelf. So I'm going to I'm going to definitely finish off the thread I've got on now of 161. But it is now. Hang on. So it is now at um, 0.94. So I've nearly caught myself up another good chunk and I'll catch myself up. So that now looks like this. I've just been working in the blues up here um, in the 797, 793 um, I think or something and now I've got some 161 which is quite heavily this book and quite a bit of this book of 161 so I can put in a good chunk there. These looking all right. So I'm still I'm still very much down in Cinderella down here. Um, I'm not too sure when I'm going to change it up and move about. I think I've got the idea that I'm going to completely finish this section, but 
I'm not sure I will because I know myself well enough. So I put in some stitches in this already this morning, which is absolutely lovely at 300. Um, so today is change the bedrooms day. So Flora, who's currently living in the ga granny annex, which is the garage, um, obviously it's been fully properly converted. She's moving upstairs into the bedroom directly above the garage. What was the garage? Um, Maddie, who's currently in the big double room at the back, is moving into the granny annex so that when Richard's boys come, they were in the little room above, above the garage that Flora's moving into so that they can go into the double room because there's obviously two of them. So when there's two, they get the bigger room. Um, so, so far, the two beds in Flora's new room have come out. Um, the proper, it was a bunk bed, but the proper single bed has gone into his daughter's room because she was still in cutesy, bright pink toddler, not toddler bed, but um, little girl's bed. I think she was six when he bought it for her. So it was a full single, but it was bright pink. And she's 11 and very, very full of dark angst. So, <laughs> so she's now got a grown up bed, as it were. Um, so that's that's where that's gone. And then the, the bunk, we've got like a, a high sleeper that doesn't have anything underneath it, which can sit above the single bed, has gone into the back room. Um, so they're going to have the other bunk bed. And so one this orientated this way and one orientated that way, the two beds um, for the boys which gives them the most floor space in the room rather than having the two beds out, which pretty much uses the whole room, you know, with enough to walk around. But there's desks, there's a vivarium, there's two televisions and two Xboxes. So <laughs> one each stops them fighting. Um, actually, it means that the eldest doesn't have to play on the Xbox in the living room because we're moving that upstairs. So that's bloody brilliant because this conservatory, although it is magical, it's got underfloor heating, which is lovely, but the electricity prices have gone up in the UK yesterday again. So I'm going to probably be just moving into the living room as the winter goes on, which is fine. I've got my big stitchy light, but it does get very, very chilly in here. It's like the two extremes. But I can put the heating on and within within an hour and a half, it's lovely in here. But I'm very aware of the electricity it uses to, to heat the underfloor especially when so much of the floor is covered in boxes of my stuff and all I'm doing is heating the boxes of stuff. So until I've tidied up in here, I don't deserve the heating on. So I'm probably just going to live in the living room and not touch in here all winter. <laughs> so there we go. So that's, so today we're doing the big furniture moving, which is the, the trundle bed in the big back room going into Flora's room and all the drawers and all the and moving the desks. Flora's getting the the desk we don't use that got put that was in the living room that got put in our room and isn't used for anything. That's going into Flora's room, so she's got a proper desk. So it's a lot of jiggery pokery today. So I imagine we'll be getting on with that as soon as Richard's up and had a coffee. He's off today and tomorrow because he's working right through from um, Friday right through to the following Friday because they've got weekenders rather than. Um, where he works, it's school groups mostly, and it's Monday to Friday. But every now and again, they get a weekend group in. Um, so, uh, yeah, he has to <laughs> he has to rally all his staff and rejig all the rotors. So he's off to he's off today and tomorrow. I'm off today too. Wow, we've got a day off together. That's unusual. And we're, and we're furniture moving and probably running to B and Q and getting paint and painting walls. So super exciting. <laughs> but I will be stitching. OK, I'm going to do my spin now. I think I'm just going to do what I did yesterday and stop the video, put up the screenshot and we'll do that because I can't really be bothered. <laughs> find it. I'm going to have to find my tablet and I'll talk about that when I've um, done my spin. Right, I'll be two seconds. You literally couldn't make it up. Right, so I've just spun and run around the house like a crazy person. I still can't find the thing I was looking for. Um, I just spun my long stitch day and here I, it, the world of books has come up. Now this is what I was going to talk about and I said I'm going to, I was something else I'm going to talk about but I'll talk about it in a minute. Right, 
Okay, so um, somebody left me a comment. I'm so sorry, I read it and I, I haven't, um, I haven't, I, I actually replied, but I didn't write down who it was. So thank you very much. Said, yeah, you can totally get that as a PDF on Etsy. Right, I had a look this morning. It's under three pounds. I'm gonna have to buy it now. <laughs> One, because I can't quite find the pattern. Um, but here's what I'm thinking. Um, when I say the pattern's disgusting, it's literally like poster paper. I made, I found the working copy I made of the of the colour chart. This is what happens when you scan it. Can you see? It's like sepia. I scanned that into my computer and printed it to see if I could make a working copy of the chart. And it is such poor quality. So I found that. That's the colours. Now this, the colours are on here, on two of these. So these are the floss drops. I think these are pretty much the prototypes. So I've got all the colours on here. I very helpfully didn't write any of the numbers on. So I'm kind of glad I found the. So this, these are the colours for the kit. There. So here's my thinking. Here's my piece on the nasty Hobbycraft Ada with its tiny piece done. Now it's going to be this size and that's all I've done. So if I'm going to start again with a PDF that I will now go and purchase. And so I'm going to have to find my tablet because I can't download patterns on my phone. It'll let me do it on a tablet, but not on my phone. So what i thought this morning while i was mulling this over was my renato parolin seasoned trees i started on a rather large piece a rather large piece i believe this is a full yard it's a full yard of picture this plus and I think it is, I know it is 18 count vellum because it's got its sticker on it. Now I was given this and I am beyond appreciative that I was given this piece of, because Picture This Plus is pretty hard to find in the UK full stop. To be gifted a full yard is outstanding. So my little trees, I started it lengthwise because there's four of them. And they're going to be about about that size, I think, which takes me down to about half. Now, this is also 18 count. Bear with. So if I put my 18 count on the half on the halfway line, so I fold both of these in half. So there's enough room for my season's trees. Here. It's a lengthways one, so I've got a full yard by enough because it's this is 18 count two, so it's going to be exactly the same size. And with the vellum, I might not need to stitch the background because it's because it is like dyed. So, what say? I restart without the background, which is lovely. I mean, it looks like wood, but I maybe just ignore. I might stitch, I might decide later to stitch some of the background, maybe in one strand, just to have the texture on the vellum, but leave out. So there's the, there's the background's colours on the vellum. Do you see what I mean? So I'll maybe not stitch a couple of these colours that pretty much, I mean, that is the same colour as the vellum, that one. That one's very close and that one's not far off. So we'll see, actually looking at it, this looks like to be the background colour because I've got so much of that. So if I said, right, that colour there, I'm just not going to stitch. I'm going to use this. But when this colour turns up and the highlights on the, to make it look wood grainy, we might just do that. I don't know yet, but I might, 
if I do that I'll do the background in one strand so that it's behind but anyway this because this is picture this plus this is fabric heaven for me and this actually makes everything in me want to it's like it's like the um witch old fabric i can't i don't want to touch it once it's in my q-snap i know it stitches really nicely because it's really stiff but physically touching it is a bit of an issue for me <laughs> whereas this this is lovely and i can get this drum tight in my q-snap obviously so there's my plan and i'm going to start it today and i'm going to get mm, you've started something new and then I'm going to go, well, no, actually, it's a restart and it's, it's this, that and the other. And I've already got the kit. I mean, I've got the full kit. Bought this from Marie's Cross Stitch here in the UK. Um, but the pattern, which is gross, is somewhere around. And I'm actually really, really looking forward to. And I haven't stitched on this for years. This is the thing. So I'm probably going to start in... A different place not in the middle um, I'm probably going to start on the bottom left hand corner or the top yeah I'm probably going to start in the bottom left hand corner because it's a uh, that I've, if I'm not decided yet what I'm doing with the background there's no point me starting at the background I'll start because it was a full coverage piece but if I'm going to and I know um, Brenda the hand work maniac has finished this and I know she didn't stitch the background it was seeing hers that made me want to stitch it. So if I'm not stitching the background, and I think it'll go much, much faster, not on this nasty fabric. Um, does anyone want this? Um, right, but there's a kit. There'll be a, there'll be a DMC list. If I'm buying it in a PDF form, there's going to be a DMC list, isn't there? We'll we'll think about this. I'll maybe um, because there's a page and a bit done, and the PDF is literally like three pounds. I just can't stand the fabric. We'll think about that. So here's today's project. Oh, this is going to be long. <laughs> Well, it'll be always long because tomorrow morning I'll be going to work, so it's going to be a quickie tomorrow. It'll be like floss too, uh, Flossmas, isn't it? Some days you'll get long videos and some days you'll get like five minutes. Anyway, okay, so there's my plan. I'm going to go and find my tablet, find my tablet, charge my tablet, purchase patterns. There's three in my basket. So I might just have to um, check out all three patterns that I've got in my basket. Get World of Books into Pattern Keeper. And then I'm going to use my kit floss. I'm not going to use DMC. I will use my kit floss. Which is here. Um, so uh, got lots and lots of that. And I'm World of Books today, and I'm going to start it, and we'll see how we get on. i better go and get that pattern bought. Right, guys, have a lovely day. I'm going to be doing furniture soon anyway. Um, better get that coffee machine switched back on. And my piece of 18 count vellum is going to be used beautifully for two beautiful patterns. Namely, my Renato Parolin Seasons trees. And you know what? I'm probably going to leave it joined on. I'll see how I go, but... I'm probably going to leave it just joined on. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and get on, guys. Have a lovely day. I will see you tomorrow morning uh, early when I'll do my spin so that I can take my piece with me to work. What's the betting tomorrow morning? We spin out Renato Parolin's seasons because, honestly, these it's like it's listening to me. Because yesterday I was like, oh, I need to get on with these bugs, and I spun a bug, and I was... Literally, before I stopped the video to spin, I was literally about to tell you about my thoughts on the world of books. And that's what I'm stitching on today. Right, I'm going to go and get my pattern, get it into Pattern Keeper, and get started. I will see you later on, hopefully with a tiny new start. And we will figure out, we will figure out what we're going to do. Got my needle minder ready. With the old world of books. 
I would be more than willing to hand this on to somebody, but you'd have to buy your own pattern and you'd have to source your floss, which if it's DMC, then on the thingy. I know this is going to be slightly thicker because this, I think, I think this is more equivalent to CXC. So uh, we'll have a think about that. But there we go. We'll think, oh, I'm just scared Sid with it. I'm going to put that in the drawer and I'm going to go and get on. I will see you later, guys. Bye bye. Good morning, guys. In this terrible light, it is Thursday, October 3rd. It is 4 05 in the morning. I've got 15 minutes before I go to work, so I've got time to do my spin. Um, yesterday, obviously, it's the middle of the night. It's not the middle of the night, it's four o'clock in the morning, so your light is what it is at this time in the morning. I will come back later and show you a bit more what I'm up to. So, um, yesterday I worked on the world of books, which I restarted. Now, I went and bought the PDF, which was great, no problem at all. It did not load into Pattern Keeper. It does not load into Pattern Keeper. So I had to load into Pattern Keeper making the grids. So basically what that means is you can't search for symbols. It doesn't recognize any of it at all. But if you put the grid on, it will, it sections it up and you can simply mark off the stitches you've done and they go great. So it's not quite straightforward. So I'm constantly checking against the color chart and because I'm using a kit, the symbols are all different, obviously, but DMC colours and the kit colours are slightly different. I mean, some of them are very close, but some of them are not. So um, I'm having to write down, I'm having to pull a DMC bobbin, match it against the kit um, on my thread drop, the kit colours on my thread drop, and then write down what number so I've got them all numbered on my um, thread drops. So that took a fair bit of time. Suffice to say, I've not done a big start. Oh, hang on, Sid. They've had first breakfasts and Sid wants to go out now. Can you wait five minutes, buddy? Anyway, so I got done 502 stitches, which is the restart in the bottom left hand corner. And it's that much. That's 502 and that's not very many stitches. But very much nicer to work on. And once I get the hang of it and get the threads working, we should be good. So that's where I am. That first book there. And I've gridded a little bit with the filament, which is this spool of Gutemann filament that I just buy in uh, Hobbycraft with the sewing threads and it's the filament that a needle can't pierce it just slides out basically it slides either side of this and then you can just pull it out when you're done so tiny start 500 stitches we were also very busy yesterday moving bedrooms yeah there was a lot of stuff to move from one to the other basically so yeah, it was an ongoing, it's an ongoing thing. Well, if I sit here, that's better light. Um, it was an ongoing, it's going to be an ongoing thing getting it done. And there's stuff everywhere, which makes Richard very anxious because he's used to having a very empty, clean, tidy house. Which is all very well until three, sometimes four, sometimes five people move in. His kids have literally got like two drawers of clothes with clothes that are fit them now and clothes that stopped fitting them four years ago which needs a bit of a sort out as well so and everything in between but they don't have a lot of stuff because they don't live here this isn't their permanent home if you see what I mean the boys just live on their phones and the little girl just does art stuff and makes you know chippy choppy bits of paper all over her floor rather than um Rather than actually having lots of stuff, my kids have stuff and it's everywhere and we're getting it all put away. The rooms all need painting, which we're not got to at all, obviously, but we were busy enough yesterday. 
so I still got 502 on that and 292 on my bookshelf so it was under a thousand stitches but more than the day before right so today is a short a, uh, a short stitch day I would imagine so I'm going to go and spin my tiny wheel and my tiny decisions wheel and I'll be back in a moment to let you know what we've got with today okay right so today's project up here is Celtic Lady which is lovely because I always love stitching on her so I'm just releasing the key snap there I'll take my little Halloween pieces off and I should have everything I need which is really useful right my little Halloween piece there and there's my Celtic Lady so it's my Celtic Lady's there she's glorious um, where is my thread joined on? Do I have a needle? Yes, have a needle. Let's see what we're going to work on then. Um, uh, what should we do? What should we do? <laughs> this, is, this is the thing now where you have a look at the pattern and you decide what you're going to be stitching on today. I'm going to do her front skirt, uh, some of her all of her front skirt today unless it's beads do the line that's fab that's stitching right that's stitching that's what i'm going to do today right that's good so i'm going to just pop that in the q snap so we can see where we are and then i will show you 10 minutes before i leave for work Got one cup of coffee made already i don't like to make my in car coffee until i'm just about to go because it goes chilly ever so quickly i've spent a long time finding the perfect uninsulated carp because i don't want a hot coffee i want a hot coffee but i don't want it to be too hot to drink on the way to work whereas my other coffee goes in a contigo and i drink from seven right so ooh. I'm going to work on a bit of her front skirt here today which is all the pale I think it's all the pale mauves there so I'm going to find my first symbol it's that which is 2102 so let's have a look of my needle paints unobtainium needle paints the only, the only needle paints you will get are ones that already exist in this world. Which is partly why I'm so happy I have them. 2101. There we go. So, I've got my pattern. I've got my Markov pencil. I'm going to get me a strand of thread. Which you should have one on the go. Strand of thread that right at the top and this is one of my few projects that I've actually got fully kitted in project bag for those of you who haven't been with me forever um, I managed to get full kit up on on um, eBay uh, vintage obviously they're vintage because they're not made anymore but um, I don't think it's got a date on it anyway the DMC's are all vintage so I keep them together because although I don't really subscribe to the whole die lot thing because on a huge hade unless you're putting stitches up against each other I don't really think it notices too much but um, the vintage ones definitely are slightly different so I do keep them to themselves right I have a needle prepared, I have my pattern ready, I have some thread on the go, I'm going to pop that in my work bag, go make my second cup of coffee and I'm going to go to work. And I will pop back on later on in the light and show you how I'm doing. Okay, right. Okay guys, I shall see you after I've been to work. Bye bye. 
guys um it's friday 20 past six in the evening um <laughs> there's lots of people in the house but i'm risking doing a quick clip because i just didn't have it in me to do one last night or this morning um <laughs> i was a bit tired <laughs> and then last night certainly i was a bit tired and then this morning i just needed to get up and get to work as you can see i'm still in my uniform <laughs> for those of you who don't know where i work this is where i work <laughs> So apologies for the oddly coloured. I've got my nice cardi on top. Anyway, so yesterday, you're really squint. I'm sorry if we're on a bit of a, a jaunty angle here, but you get what you get right now. Um, yesterday, I pulled a Celtic lady. Now, I did get quite a good chunk of her done. Um, so I've just, I will have just shown you her actually in the gloomy, gloomy ten past four in the morning light. I'm going to try not to do the spin at that time in the morning in fact I'm going to do tomorrow's spin at the end of this this clip so that we know what we're I'm no we know what I'm stitching on tomorrow and I know what I'm stitching on tomorrow anyway so yesterday I only did 354 stitches all day that's all the stitches I did it's a paper pattern I'm counting because I want to see how many stitches I do in this month so I picked her up and I was like oh I might do her front skirt and that's what I've put some stitches into her front skirt. Uh, newsflash, I'm not putting her away. I'm going to do some bit more on her. But here is where those 354 stitches went. So right from where her sleeve meets there, down there and down here. So I've done that bit of her front skirt. And then I've put some gold on just to do a bit of shiny gold there. So that's where my Celtic lady currently is. Um, just that bit there, but that bit wasn't there yesterday, so it's it's progress, which is lovely, and I'm going to keep her out, certainly to put in that thread of gold and which is petite treasure braid as charted. It came in my kit up, and look at her gorgeous face, and yeah, I need to do her hand and her basket, but now I've got the front of the the now I've got the front of her dress there. The curve is the basket. So I'm wondering whether I don't just stitch the basket. I kind of want to. I might keep, I'm definitely keeping her out for now. So this morning I did my spin by myself while I was making my, my two cups of coffee. And here's what I spun. I spun happily ever after, which this morning looked like this here I'll put up a picture because I took a picture because I was being good and then I went to work now I'm trying to do the frame first of all the of all the letters and I'm using a dinky dye for this um it's either black sand beach or charcoal I think this is black sand beach I'm genuinely not sure so I so far I have not written it down I think I've done about 400 stitches so far but I will keep stitching on it tonight currently it looks like this so I finished off, I finished off these blocks here. That there is finished because there is a little bunny sitting on that letter, sitting on that block. And I can't distinguish between where the bunny ends and where the block is. So I've, I've made it up so that his little paw will sit in there. So I'm actually going, when I finish this strand here, which I've rejoined on here to do the rest, I think I've got a little bit more of these blocks over here yet. Um, yes, I've got one block here and then another word goes down. That was one of mine coming through. They're used to me. The others don't know how I do this. Um, so I'm going to stitch this little white bunny in. So I'll show you this again tomorrow and my full progress, but that's where I am right now. So that's pretty good. And what else have I done? I have I have a, a very thin knitting needle full of pumpkins. I'm making pumpkin beads to go with my, oh, I need to put white behind that. To go with my bat on key. This one, this one here, look at him. Look at this one, the bat on the key. And then I've also got a bat on the clock. He's pretty cool. I like him. That's 
like a, a metal charm, a big metal charm of a clock. So he's on there. So I've got another, here's my process. I've got another that many bats, but I'm currently, as I'm sitting here kind of doing some stitching, doing some female, this is how I roll. I've actually got three different sets of crafts around me. Um, I'm currently putting on this rather good skeleton hand, I'm putting a little sleeping cat on in in so he's got he'll have a little cat sleeping in his palm i just i got a pack of halloween charms so i'm going to do some i'm obviously you can see i'm making some halloweeny things while i'm feeling in the festive spirit here um also i can show you the I've just glued the magnets onto the little square to go with the bags I'm making, which are log cabin. I've made some, these, these are the square needle minders that will go with those. So they're quite cute. I've made, I've, I've put magnets on the first six because I've got six bags, but I haven't, I haven't finished them or any got even close to them. And then the other day I was sorting through a box of Lizzie's things from her bedroom, from the storage box. And I came across a box, a tin, that was full of old Fimo canes. And these are the, the Dragon Eye needle minders I've managed to make from them. So they, they are on magnets now, but they will all swivel, I think. So there's some there from the very old canes, which some of you might already have. There's like the, the granite fire there. And there's this kind of a blue grey with the purple tips. And these are canes I made probably three or four years ago. And I had to spend quite a while manipulating them to get them mobilised enough to be able to cut little slices from them. But I'm really pleased because these look like, these really look like my needle minders. There's, this one here is pretty, pretty gorgeous. Look, it's all, the scales are all rainbow. Very pretty. I was very pleased with that cane. Anyway, that's by the by. So I've been busy. I, I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. That's what you get when you're dipping in and out of my life all the time. It's like my brain's always trying to do several things. Um, I do drink a lot of coffee, yes. But when I filmed the other day, I was only on my first cup. <laughs> you just got me a bit hyper which sometimes I am when I've got something to do and I'm feeling very, I came up with a good idea and I was like, well, I need to just express it and make a video. So yeah, that's just, that's just how I am sometimes. So I've got lots of little bits and bobs going on. I'll get those pumpkins finished. I'm going to get that little cat. And if he, if he works really well, I'll make several more, try and get those little bats finished, get them baked off. And then I've got lots of Halloweeny charms. I think I'm going to turn these into needle minders, these spiders. And there's some really nice ones on a web that I think would look really good either on a resin back or a Fimo back to make a really nice because they're they're very thin so I can make them into needle minders. I obviously will take the loop off. Something in me, I don't know. <laughs> when you see people make needle minders out of charms. They don't take the loops off, the hanging loops. And I'm, I'm like, but that's just, you know, that, that for me, that needs to be removed. So I'm going to spend a few minutes just working those off and making them nice. But there's quite a few quite nice ones there. I love getting little packs of charms. It's just, it's just fun. Anyway, right. So I've got a little bit more stitching to do on this. Right. So tomorrow I'm working. I've got a long, oh, I've got a long shift tomorrow. I'm in Cockermouth tomorrow. So at one, it takes me 40 minutes to get there. Two, I'm probably going to get a parking ticket, <laughs> even though Aldi owns the car park. Yeah, that's great. They, we don't have to pay them, but it's still a faff to get it processed to allow us not to have to pay them. It's just anyway. Um, and I've then got a 10 hour shift, five till three. So that by the time I get home, it's going to be almost four o'clock because the traffic on a Saturday is rubbish. So, <laughs> blah. 
Um, so yeah, mm. uh, I'm not. I'm probably going to be super tired. So tomorrow's going to be a short, a short stitch day, and it probably will be quite a short stitch day. But I'm off on Sunday, and I'm not intending to move very far from this conservatory on Sunday. And I'm going to do a little bit of everything, and hopefully put some more stitches into this lady put some stitches into the treasure hunt bookshelf and stitch on the long stitch day project so i might just catch myself up a little bit on sunday and then i'll have a look at my rotor from for next week i think i've got five shifts next week which is fine which is good it's good hours so that's good right i'm gonna pop off now and see where oh no i'm not i'm gonna do my spin right hang tight i'm gonna spin and see what see what i get i'll be back Okay, so that's cool. So I spun and my winner is the stamps, which is the Shannon Christine Designs, her winter stamps and her Christmas stamps. Now I had a message and I checked because I just said she's got a website. Um, the Christmas stamps are in her Christmas category, but the winter stamps, um, you, I couldn't find like a, a search, but if you just go to cross stitch and just scroll, it is there. They are both still on her website. So I've currently got seven. There are 12. I'm hoping to get one, possibly two finished, but tomorrow is going to be a bit tight on a wakey time for me once I'm not at work. So we'll see how I go. I'll take the white with me and start the white frame. I'll only get 100 stitches maximum at work. And yeah, so let's get cracked on with this. This is falling quite nicely so far. I'm quite happy with all my choices. I'm about to lose the light in here, which means I've got to put on the very, very bright overhead light, which of course makes me look about 100,000 years old with a very shiny forehead. Um, so I will try and pop in tomorrow and give you a little update. And how many days are we on now? It's the 4th. Tomorrow is the 5th. So, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. I possibly, I'm going to, I'll put it together tomorrow and see how long it is. If it's, if it's between... 40 minutes and an hour I'll post it tomorrow if it's still just like half an hour-ish <laughs> she says knowing full well it's going to be longer right guys I will see you tomorrow and, I'm, and either you'll see me tomorrow because I'll post the video or you'll see me on Sunday we'll see how I get along right I will be getting up at three o'clock tomorrow well 20 past three tomorrow morning to leave at 10 past four right I'll see you later guys Good morning guys um, it is a Sunday morning October the 6th and this is going to be my last little clip so I'm just going to just do it that way a little bit this is going to be my last little clip on this and I'm going to get this processed and posted I am off work today thank goodness um, I've only done four days this week and I'm so tired I think it's from the hangover from doing six long shifts last week and only doing four this week I seem more tired than I was this time last week which is nutty that was noisy this is only my first cup of coffee for the morning by the way so i am a bit of a caffeine addict um i do get a horrible horrible headache if i don't drink enough coffee or diet coke through the day um but um i'm actually going to turn the cup around because it's much much prettier on the other side this cup's maddie's but it's big enough to have a what, what we in the UK call an Americano, which is two shots of coffee, hot water, and about an inch of milk, which is just, just how I like it out of the coffee machine now. I've got really used to it. Um, I mostly drink coffee out of the coffee machine now rather than um, instant coffee. And I need to drink less of these, obviously, because it's proper coffee made from coffee and beans rather than freeze-dried instant, which is what I used to drink all the time. Anyway, first cup of the morning. I have waited in bed sleeping until it got light. <laughs> Richard and his eldest son have gone to work. That's um, they've had to work. As I said, we had he had Wednesday and Thursday off, and now he's working right through till next Friday. It's just how his rotor's fallen for him. He writes his own rotor. He is he is the boss of his department, so he writes his rotor. But it was the only thing he could do to get the shifts covered. Was to basically the only way he can get the shifts covered is to work them himself. <laughs> He's in a wonderful situation. Um, 
So he's taken his eldest son to help him because he's so short-staffed, who's 15 and a keen. He's, he's keen, but he wouldn't be doing it by himself, if you see what I mean. He's been ejected from his bed and plumps into the car and he will now quite happily work until I think they'll be home at about one. And then he'll sit on his phone like this for the rest of the day. So not self-motivated, but very happy to help, which is all we need right now, I think. I have Sid in here looking for somewhere to settle down. Are you coming up, Sid? He he was settled down, but he was settled down on the cross stitch I'm about to show you, which I had folded neatly next to me. Are you okay, buddy? My big old Sidley. He's lovely. He's accepted that Flora, Flora and I live here permanently now. And um, he started talking to us, whereas for the first six months of me being here every day, he was like, yeah, you can feed me and that's enough. Now he interacts with me a little bit. So very slowly I am I am worming my way into his affections. And of course he adores Flora. Because everybody adores Flora. Um, Cosmo's around as well. He's already woken Maddie up. Because now Maddie is down in the downstairs room. Which she likes. But Cosmo's realised that if he harasses her he might get in. But um, no, he's not getting in there. Anyway. As I say, I waited in bed sleeping. <laughs> I did mean to get up and stitch for like an hour and a half before it was light enough to, to, to do the video because I wanted to get this posted this morning before I do today's stitching and today's crafts. I'm excited. I've got, I'm actually got, I'll take a little picture of my little setup. I've got a little setup ready. I'm going to make things today and stitch here in the conservatory. I had cleared, I cleared the table last night of all the junk and the piles of things and the half made bags and I've laid out all the charms, all the tools, all the jewellery findings and first job is to get the Fimo, the polymer clay things that I want to make finished into the oven so that I can then turn them into little charms. So I will obviously show you them when I'm done. I'm just doing a very small run of Halloween items which is only going to, you know, and then I'll get them straight into my Etsy shop. I will do a couple of little giveaways because we're, we're heading up towards Halloween and um, I'll show you those in due course. So, yeah. So there isn't there isn't one that goes along with this video, but by the time I post next video, there'll be things in my Etsy shop, and I will have kept a couple of things spare. I'm possibly going to. I think I'll probably just give away a couple of giveaways in the same video, so that there's the chance that you'll actually get them before Halloween, because we're we're Halloween stitching now. I know this. Anyway, right. So. Um, yesterday I didn't make a video, um, mostly because I felt like an old bag of spanners was very tired. I did do stitching, but, um, so for Saturday I spun, um, the stamps, the Shannon Christine Designs stamps. And I was like, I'll get one done, maybe two. Um, brilliant. Yeah, I have stitched one and it was, uh... Eight, nine, nine hundred and sixty odd stitches, nearly a thousand stitches. This one little stamp that's tiny, let me show it you. Here, it's one of the bigger ones. That is nearly a thousand stitches. <laughs> Here's me going, oh, these are easy. I'll just knock one out. When you're only stitching on one thing in one day, because normally I put like a thread into this, a thread into that, a thread into that, hundred stitches on a bookshelf and come back and do another colour on one of these. And it doesn't feel like a lot of stitches. When you just start and finish something, that's a thousand little stitches there. He's full coverage, obviously, because they are. Um, so that one's done. So now from the Chris, from the winter set, we've now I've now done four of the six. So there's uh, one of these to go, the little the the one that matches that little snowflake, and there's the one there's the tall one that matches that one. That's in the Christmas set. There's a tall one that matches that. So I'm going to put that there because it's going to fit there. Um, and I've just started about, what, 15 stitches, 12, 15 stitches of that one is done. But that was just to use up the white left over from finishing the white on this. And there I'm stopping on this. So yesterday I did 842 stitches onto this little thing here. And then this morning, while I was just um, waiting for the actual sun to peep over so that we actually had, you can see the sun reflecting there on that that white house it's actually up over the horizon now 
it's winter it's eight o'clock in the morning now eight oh one so it's getting later and later in another month and a half it will not be light now and I've done 113 stitches just all the pink I did all the pink this morning just to finish him off because I wanted to show you him finished so I've just waited while I've just done that but I did want to film straight away and then the day before I said I hadn't quite finished stitching on happily ever after I have I did just a little bit more a bit afterwards um, so in the end happily ever after I actually did 667 stitches on Friday which took which has taken it to 10.3 percent let me show you where it is now it's now there so I've got this is the big double block that says roots and the O's have got hearts in them and then there's so there's a few blocks here and I think just another couple of blocks this side so I've nearly done the framework and I have indeed stitched one tiny little white bunny and he is there he's sitting as I said when I filmed he looked like he was actually sitting in the block on top of the block so I left the gaps so I stitched him in <laughs> he's very sweet so that's the first bit of non non um, grid outline I'm thinking looking at him as I'm stitching him I'm going to do the letters um, I'll pick and I didn't pick a black for the colorway here's the colors I picked back in Flossmas last year um, over dyes and these screffly mess here are dinky dyes of which I've got the Quicksilver which I use for everything because I bought I bought a lot of Quicksilver because I was going to do Castles in the Air in Quicksilver and Castles in the Air is in um, permanent permanent naughty cupboard because I can't get to grips with the fabric I am I am totally 100% going to stitch that little monster on that beautiful fabric with Quicksilver I just can't do it right now so I've got some colour and cottons in Spectre White Pearl another Spectre and Chimney Sweep and actually the greys and the spectre are actually almost identical to the to the two um, dinky dies which is obviously why I picked them and then there's my two dinky dies there uh, might be I think actually there are three there there's black sand beach and charcoal and the quicksilver in the middle I you can see how wonderfully I look after my silks they're doing they look good don't they really good condition there don't be like me um, let's hide them under nice unused skeins there but I'm going to pick a black I'll have um, an over dye black somewhere I'm sure I know I know I have lots of them I'll pull one of those and I'll do the letters in an over dye um, I do like the way the dinky dye looks though you can see it's very got a lovely feel to it obviously because it's silk but it, it is variegating quite a bit and over in this corner here this is really quite a dark bit there I've got really quite a dark thread going on there so that's quite cool it's really quite it's quite a bit differently dark to that which is kind of what I want I kind of want it looking slightly offbeat and kooky anyway um, so I finished off my stitches there so they are done for the meanwhile I've still got my Celtic lady out they're going in the I'm done for now pile which is fine and today is a long stitch day so I'll be spinning for my long stitch should we do that now right I'm just going to go and do my long stitch spin now right that's done okay that's cool I have spun the nutcracker which um, I annoyingly don't have pattern keeper on my phone my new phone yet it's still on my old phone so I'll go and, I'll go and boot up my old phone send it up to the drive <laughs> And then I can import it into my new my new pattern my my new pattern keeper my pattern keeper on my new phone. Um, I've been doing them one at a time, where as and when I work on them, um, because they are safe and sound where they are. I just put put power into my phone, do it. I did a whole bunch when I when I brought the bugs and the stamps over, so I, I did them then. There's movement upstairs. Somebody's awake. Right, let me show you the nutcracker. I'm so I'm home alone with Maddie and Flora and middle son and youngest daughter of Richards, which is you know absolutely fine, no bother at all. But um, two of them know I do videos and two of them don't, so I don't really want to get caught because 
it's just an explanation I don't need to give right now. Um, I just, I genuinely don't tell people, you know, it's not something I go around and go, hi, I'm a plus tuber. It's just not something I do. And two of the people I work with in my, in my shop, I was at the other shop yesterday, um, are cross stitchers and it wouldn't cross my mind to tell them how weird I am. It just sounds so not normal. Anyway, Nutcracker, lovely little artsy chart. I started this, I think it was my New Year start. Um, he's here and um, I have no idea where I'm going to stitch on him today. Um, my brain tells me I want to fill in this red bit, but then I think, shall I do some skin? Shall I do something completely different? There's lots of white to fill in. I've got a little grid work going where I could actually just fill in some white there. You can see this bit's filled in and these bits aren't. But anyway, here's my starting point and we'll see how we go. Right, so that's Nutcracker today. Lovely. Gives me something to do. I'll get that into a Q-snap and get a colour sorted. Um, get my phone down and get that done and then get my colour sorted. My eyes just gone really itchy, which means it's going to go really bloodshot. Sorry about that. And I'm going to fuss with it because it's sore. I actually had to get like um, tired, tidy sore eye eye drops, you know, just, just hydration. Just I think it's just um, distilled water really um, at work because when I'm on the tills, um, now they've, uh, they've put the heating on, which actually just recycles the air around the block a bit. There's a there's a blower that blows onto the tills and every customer goes, oh, it's lovely and warm here. And you're like, yeah, it's making my skin shrivel up, making my eyes peel, <laughs> and my lips peel. So I need to take a little bit more care of myself, put eye drops in to keep my eyes moist because either that or I have to wear my glasses, which is fine. Except if I wear my glasses, I need to wear my glasses all the time, where, where I trained myself to wear them only when I drive. I could easily wear them all the time. It's not a, it's not a correction for close yet. I'm get, I'm beginning, I noticed the other day I was reading a barcode, you know, the number on the barcode because it wouldn't scan. And I had to push it just a bit further back. And that's the first time I've noticed myself doing that. So obviously it's beginning to think about going, which is going to be really problematic for me because I do so much close work. Um, mine is um, an astigmatism. I have I have the, the, uh, the football ball shaped eye, the rugby ball shaped eye. So it, it needs a slight prism to adjust it to make everything pin sharp. I can totally live with it without it. But when I put my glasses on, I'm like, whoa, that's better. And my eyes relax because obviously they work much harder. The, the bad eye, which I close most of the time if I'm reading or I'm watching TV and not stitching, I find I'm, you know, I close the eye I don't like. It's just something I do. It's silly. So I could wear my glasses a lot more. Anyway, I'm going to try and put it off as long as I can. At COVID, before COVID, I was wearing them all day, every day. And then when I was on furlough, you know, when the world stopped, and I stopped for March, April, May, two, I think, I think two and a half months I was completely just at home. I stopped wearing them because I only went out in the car like once a week to do, to do all the shopping. Um, but uh, that's just before I started making videos. I started at the end of the July of COVID, of COVID year making videos. That's just before I met, I met some of you really. Um, yeah, but then when I went back after COVID, I decided I wasn't going I was going to untrain my eyes out of them because I was getting a bit reliant. Anyway, long story short, as usual with me, I'm get I need to put moisturizer on my face. I need to use my, my lip balm a lot more, otherwise I'm going to end up like a shriveled up old thing because I'm sitting on a an air blowy till. Yesterday I was at did my last shift just blew, my last shift at Cockmouth store that's on that's rotated on, so I probably that probably is my last shift there. Um absolutely fine. Um wasn't stuck in the chiller all all shift which is very cold as you imagine we call the chiller I didn't even know obviously because I've never worked in the supermarket before the chiller is everything from um where you get your meat your yogurts round through milk and cheese that's the chiller and I might stand there for nine hours sometimes at Christmassy time just just working working in the chiller and it's very chilly un 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 unsurprisingly because everyone walks up and their little kids are going, Mummy, it's so cold. I'm like, mm, telling me it's bloody freezing. And they're like, oh, yes, dear, we'll walk fast. Well, let's put your coat on. And I'm like, yeah, keep your kiddies warm. Oh. It's just, it always makes me smile. 
when they stand right next to me and go, it's so cold here. And you're like, yes. <laughs> my first cup of coffee is cold now. That's good. Right, I'm going to show you my little setup, what I've got, what I've got on for the plans for today. And then um, I'll get this video processed and posted. And I've already started splicing it together. I just need to add this today's bit on the end of it and insert all my all my spin the wheel results. And yeah, job's good. And not much else, actually. I don't think I need to put in many pictures because you've seen all my pieces all before. And if you're new to me, the, I'm only stitching things that other people stitch. I'm not stitching anything outlandish and different. So, uh, yeah, um, I will catch you tomorrow with Nutcracker Progress, but you'll see it in five days. And another spin tomorrow. I am working an early, so it could be a short day tomorrow. I think I'm going to get end up with a lot of long stitch days left because hmm. <laughs> There's, the, the ratio is not five to two, and that's what I'm that's why I'm working for the next few weeks is five five working days and two days off, which is really very normal, isn't it? I'm just not Monday to Friday so much. Sometimes I'm off, I'm off today, so that's nice. Right, I'll show you my little my little Halloweeny things I'm going to be doing today, and then I will see you later. Bye bye. So here's what I've laid out to do today. I've got my bats to finish. And then these are the hands that the pumpkin mice are going to be going on. That looks very enticing, but it's actually just the uh, the light bulb. Um, and then I've got these charms here that I'm going to try and turn into needle minders. These charms here, which are going to, and a, a Halloween-y thing, I'm going to harvest all the beads off. And then I've got jewellery findings here. They're going to be bat wings. There's some pumpkin beads there. I just need to get some green to do the um, uh, the tendrils on the top. And then uh, there's some of my, my, my clay tools. There's some Halloween beads there that I've bought. There's the clasps for scissor fobs there. Charms that I'm going to put the bats on. Some more Halloween. There's Halloween-y colour beads in there. And then I need to do some... I need to cut out some more um, cards and fold some more envelopes. And behind you can see some of the detritus that I still need to sort out. So we've got to write all muddle up. There's the box with my ribbons in. Obviously it's got no lid and it's overflowing. Poor box. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go and get busy and do my, my little um, pumpkin mice. Onto the pumpkin mice. Where's my finger? The pumpkin mice are going to sit in the hands. There's one just there. And then we'll see where they go from there. Right, guys, I will catch you later. Bye for now.